To get started editing your site, first you'll notice there are separate sections of the page. To the left of the page, the darker blue area is known as the sidebar. This area must be edited through the menu under the Edit Site Layout button. This will open the editable region for the sidebar and you can select any of these sections to make changes in those areas. For instance, if I wanted to change the current poll section, I would click on that section and the edit box would open for me. And you'll see a familiar editing menu here with all of your formatting features. Once you've made the changes you want to make, select OK. If you'd like to remove a section from the sidebar, all you have to do is click the X. and that will remove it from the sidebar. If you would like to close out of the editable region for the sidebar, hit the close button at the top right of your screen. To edit page content in the lighter blue area, you'll need to hit the edit page button at the top right of your screen. This will open the editable region for the page. You'll notice each of the pages in the classroom website template have tips. These are linked to instructions that include helpful tips about how to make changes to recent announcements, to student of the month or the word of the week section, and these will be listed on all of the pages throughout your template. Please note that I expect these tips to be deleted before you turn in your assignment. Once you've made the changes you want to make to the page, hit save and your pages will display with the changes that you made. Other items in the menu include revision history which may be helpful if you wish to go back and delete changes that you've made and revert back to a previous version. Um, page settings might be helpful if you would like to change the description for your page or if you would like to take away or add comments or attachments to a page or change the page title. You can also select whether or not this page shows in the sidebar. And if you'd like to change the page template for that particular page you can do that as well. There are four different choices for page templates. You have a standard web page, you have an announcement page, a file cabinet page, or a list page. And each of these pages perform different functions. Um, if, you want, if you wanted to use a file cabinet page, that would be a good page to use if you wanted to store um, pages that or files that could be downloaded for for others when they access your pages or the list page is good for reading lists or um, helpful resources or useful links. If you'd like to make a copy of a page you can do that as well through the settings menu. You can manage your site here and this is where you can make um, site-wide changes such as the name of your site, uh, information about um, your site's description, uh, the landing page for your site. Right now, by default, that's set to the home page, but if you would like uh, visitors to land on a different page as they enter your site, you can change that here. You can make copies of the site. You can publish the site as a template for others to use. and you can set up um, other Google Webmaster tools here if you're interested in doing that. By default these pages automatically um, do not adjust to mobile phones so if you'd like to make that uh, selection you need to do that in the manage site section. And when you've made all the changes you want to your settings click save. Also under Manage Site, you'll see that you have choices here for sharing the page, 
um, and for themes, colors, and fonts, which is something that you might want to access if you want to customize any of those things. And then finally, in the top right corner, you have a button to create a new page. So if you need to add pages to your site, you would do that with this button. You'd want to give your page a name. You'd want to choose the template that you want to use for that page, the ones that we just discussed, including the web page template, the announcement template, the file cabinet, or the list template. You can choose whether or not you want to list your page at the top level or under home. I like for you to leave the menu at the top level and that um, keeps your page from being a sub page under the home menu. So it keeps everything at the same level. And once you're finished, hit create. It'll open your new page in the editor and you can add whatever items you would like to add. So for here, I'm going to add, please download copies of this week's assignments below. And I can add files here that others can download. And when you're finished, hit save. Now, Notice you will need to add the lessons page that we just created to your sidebar menu. In order to do that, you would come up to the settings, come down to edit site layout, and choose the area that you would like to add your page to. I'm going to add it to the main navigation. I'm going to hit add a page and I'm going to go find the page I just created, Lessons, say OK, and notice it adds it to the menu for me. If you look to the right of this window, you have some arrows, and these arrows allow you to indent or outdent the page, make it a sub-page of another page, or move it up or down in the menu. Once you get the page to the location you want to keep it, hit say, hit OK. And when you want to exit the sidebar editor, hit close. You'll notice that as you make changes to your Google Pages, Google automatically saves those changes for you. So you can see that this page was updated two minutes ago. So no need to hit a save button before you exit out of the out of Google Sites.